Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel if you're new here and we are about to start our next IUI cycle. This will be our fourth medicated cycle and the second one with gonal F. The first gonal F cycle we did was with the injection shots. This one should be the gonal F pen so kind of wish it was the shot since that's what I'm familiar with but I just picked up my box here of the injections and had my baseline appointment this morning where they drew my blood and did an ultrasound. I'm just waiting for my IUI coordinator to get back to me this afternoon to tell me if we're a go to start injections tonight. So I just wanted to document this cycle like I did the last one. Um, if you haven't seen that one, I'll link it down below in the description box. So this will just be going through our appointment. Um, showing me do the injections and um, I'm really hoping that this cycle will work and if you're in the same situation then I send baby dust your way. Got one of three of our Gonal S10. This is what it looks like. Just got done with shot number two. It looks worse than it actually is. I know in the clips that it looks like it's gonna be painful or the faces I make, but it does not hurt at all. Um, I think it's just the anticipation of like not wanting to do it wrong and making sure I get the full dose with the pen because it's not like the shot where I just put the plunger in and get all the medication in there. I have to hold it down for five seconds and then pull the shot out and then release the button. So I just don't wanna like mess up a step. But today is Wednesday, uh, June 15th. So day two of shots, sorry about the lighting. Day two of shots, I do go back Friday for another blood work and ultrasound, ultrasound appointment. And then it looks like I will go back Monday, Wednesday and Friday to the fertility doctor. And then hopefully, uh, a week from this Friday will be the IUI, which will be my birthday. So how great of a gift would that be if I get pregnant on my birthday? So fingers crossed that that is the schedule, that it stays, and that we get pregnant. So I'll keep uh, documenting when I get Friday my ultrasound, uh, when I get the follicle size back from that, and then what my estrogen's at. So. I will see you guys tomorrow for shots, Friday for an update. three doses down, so this is how much I got out of the single pen, um, was three doses, as you can see. So those are the units, and then you turn this dial, this dial on the end, to set it at what number units of medicine you wanna give yourself. So that's where it's displayed right there. And then when you uh, put this into your skin, your fatty area then you hold this down for five seconds and then pull it out and then um, unclick the pen so to speak and then it only dispenses however much you put in this little window so pretty cool got three doses out of this I have two more pens left so six doses left it is Friday June 17th had my appointment at the fertility doctor this morning my lead follicles are eight millimeters and my estrogen is about 44. So, so far everything is looking really good. About to open another box of Gonal F. So this will be a brand new pen um, with three new, or three more doses in this one. And then I have one more box left. So hopefully that will be enough doses to get me to the IUI. Let's go ahead and do day four shots. Hello, it is 
Monday, June 20th. I had my fertility appointment this morning. Everything went well. I did labs and ultrasound. On Friday, my um, estrogen was 44, and today it was 116. So that is progressing nicely. And then my lead follicle went from eight on Friday to 13 today. Um, she did say when I was leaving the fertility clinic, my IUI coordinator, that we might change my dosage tonight. Uh, but she did message me um, in the patient portal and she told me that we're just going to keep the same dose. I do go back Wednesday for another repeat labs and ultrasound. I'm sure she'll tell me then if I'll be triggering uh, Wednesday or Thursday night. So I'm super excited for that. I will update you guys when I go on a Wednesday. I'm back for another update. It is Wednesday, June 22nd. I had my fertility appointment this morning. I was only supposed to go in today and then IUI Friday, but because my lead follicle is only 16 millimeters, it has to be at least 17 millimeters before we can do the trigger shot. So I do have to drive back tomorrow another hour and a half to the fertility doctor just to make sure it grew the one millimeter overnight throughout the day today so I'm really hoping that's the case that way I can just drive it tomorrow they can tell me I'm a go to do the trigger shot tomorrow night and then IUI on Friday so that will be super exciting um, my estrogen is 343 so it's definitely getting up there which is also great and I just got back from my friend's house I used her Cricut to make a shirt for tomorrow and some cute socks I found these designs on Etsy and decided to try to make them ourselves, so that's what we did. My last IUI cycle, I wore my Mama in the Making hoodie, which everyone at the Personality Clinic loves, but it is 101 today, so I'm thinking it'll be the same temperature on Friday. So definitely not going to wear a hoodie, so that is why I made this shirt. I will go ahead and show you what we made. Here is the shirt I made, so top knots and trigger shots. So naturally, I have to wear my hair in a bun on Friday. And then the trigger shot is the shot I have to do um, the night before the procedure to make myself ovulate. And then I wore these socks. It is 101 out, so I don't have to worry about staying warm and cozy, but I have heard, um, you know, one of the things is like stay warm and cozy for your uterus, that way your uterus is like warm and cozy, getting a whole bunch of blood flow to it. So that's normally like the thing with the socks, but it's already hot here. I don't think I'll have a problem with that. But I wanted some good vibes to wear to the procedure, and I thought this would be super cute. All right, our last 150, love bug. All right, our last gonal F shot, hopefully for this cycle. Tomorrow, we trigger shot. Friday, we do the IUI, so good vibes. It is trigger shot time. We were instructed to do the trigger shot between 10 p.m. and 2.30 a.m. So obviously we're gonna get that done sooner than later because I am not staying up till 2.30. And then we're going to do the IUI at 2.30 p.m. So let's go ahead and do this. June 24th. Today I turned 26. Came downstairs from the cutest presents from Hub. So go ahead and show you. Not one, but three beautiful bouquet of flowers. The cutest palm tree hat. Very cute pink um, cardigan, a long cardigan. 
and then two joggers because we love to be comfy. Grande vanilla sweet cream cold brews with extra sweet cream. That'll be all. All right, thank you. Hello. Yes. Okay, would I be able to use my birthday reward? Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you too. Fertility clinic. Stop one for Austin to do his donation, and then in two hours we'll be back for me. All right, we just went into a an outdoor store. Um, I don't know, just kind of like hiking, rock climbing, all the outdoorsy things. Um, which really we went in for Austin because that's his vibe. But it was super cool. He rode out with a guy there talking about different rock climbing walls we can go try out and all this stuff. They both doing a triathlon. They were having a great time. I ended up getting this jacket, which I needed, right? Of course. Little windbreaker jacket. Oh, you can't see my face. A little windbreaker jacket by Rad. So add that onto the birthday festivities. So perfect. I definitely could have used this when we went to the CMA Fest concert. It was so windy, I was breathing the entire time. So now I have a perfect back uh, jacket to bring for such events. Now we are headed back to the fertility clinic. That's why we went and checked out that store. It was right across the street. We had an hour to kill. So now heading back. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Got my socks on. Let's do this. We just got out of the fertility doctor. They said everything was so well. Numbers for everything looked great. Um, we have two lead follicles, so maybe we'll have some twins. It is a stu superstition to go get fries after a procedure, so we're pulling up to Chick-fil-A, gonna get some fries, enjoy a lunch. It's a late lunch, it's 3.30, I can't believe that. Uh, so yeah, that's the update. Fries. Success. Where's your favorite fry? I think Chick-fil-A has the best fry. And then McDonald's. And then I don't really eat fast food. I think I eat fast food. Never. Chipotle is the only thing I eat fast food. I but disagree strongly with your list. Why? Number one is In-N-Out. Number oh. two is Five Guys. Mm -mm. And number three is Arby's. No. Uh, I am back with a final update for this IUI cycle. It is July 16th, about three weeks from our IUI. Yep, three weeks. And unfortunately, we did not get a positive pregnancy test this cycle. I did just have our follow-up with our fertility doctor yesterday. Um, I went in with a lot of questions because there was a lot of different protocols that happened this time and a lot of different hormone levels um, than our last IUI, but he said on paper we should be pregnant and that's what he said with the last IUI. Um, this cycle during the two week wait, I try to stay super relaxed. I did not test every day like I did with the last cycle. I waited until the Friday of when I had to go to the fertility clinic for my pregnancy test. Um, it was my birthday when we did the IUI like you've seen, so that whole weekend was spent super busy with friends and hanging out with the hubs, and then um, a week later my family came. So uh, they kept me super busy, hung out with them, um, so that was really nice. And then some things I did to stay relaxed is I got a book, I put my nose in the book, um, that way I just kind of took everything else out kind of a good relaxation for me. I went to the pool, um, and that's always super relaxing. So I tried a lot of different things to stay stress-free and not worry about what was gonna happen or not happen. Differently than from this IUI from the last was 
my estrogen was 163 this cycle, 2000 last cycle. So when she told me that on the Monday, a week out from the IUI, or a week from the IUI, um, I looked back to see what my estrogen levels were from the first IUI, a week from the IUI, and it was 2000, where this one was 163. So I did not let myself read any articles, blogs, anything during this two week wait, and I think that also really helped. Um, that way, my mind wasn't going through like all the what ifs as much. It kind of tamed it down by not doing any research. So I did wait after the fact when we got the negative to look at what the 2000 verse 163 estrogen meant. Um, but for my research, estrogen levels can be from like 180 to 2000 plus during the first trimester. So 163 wasn't bad. It just was low, like my IUI coordinator said. So she did up my dose to a, another pill. So I was at five pills of estrogen a day taken orally and then four pills of progesterone taken orally. But is what my doctor prescribed me. Definitely consult with your doctor before taking any meds. And if you have questions, definitely go see them. Um, as this is just my personal experience and I'm not here to diagnose or prescribe anything to anyone. Um, just my journey during our IUI cycle. Um, so yeah, definitely not researching helped. Um, we did only do 11 dose. We did 11 doses last IUI cycle of gonal F. This time we did nine, so I was wondering if that could have done anything. But nope, doctor said that follicles were growing great. I should have had at least two that could have been fertilized. Um, so he said nothing that we did was the reason why I didn't get pregnant or nothing that we didn't do wasn't the reason why we didn't get pregnant. It's just something isn't clicking in my body. So for this next cycle, he's going to let me do another IUI cycle in about two months. So we just have to wait a little bit. Um, we're going to try Overdrill, which is an HCG trigger shot where I've been on Lupulide for the last two IUIs. Um, this clinic normally does Lupulide as their trigger shot. But he says, I'm not like most couples, what works for me. So we're going to go ahead and try Overdrill, which is the HCG trigger shot. If you remember in my first IUI video, I said I tried testing out like the trigger shot and nothing came positive when I did a pregnancy urine test the day after my IUI. That's because Lupulide doesn't show up in a pregnancy test. So after telling my friend that I will be doing the HCG trigger shot and that is the one where people will take the trigger shot and then test it out of their body because it only stays in your body 10 days. Um, so take a pregnancy test every day after the IUI. That way they can kind of see the HCG levels going down and then they'll get a negative and then if they test again and happen to get a positive pregnancy test then they know it's real and not just the HCG trigger shot or the overdrill trigger shot. So after telling my friend I'm going on the overdrill trigger shot, she's like, I'm taking all your pregnancy tests from you. You're not allowed to buy any. You're not allowed to keep any in the house because I know you, you're going to test or want to test every single day to get that HCG out and then test to see if you're pregnant. And she's like, we know from the first IUI cycle that that's going to cause you stress. So I will 99.9% .9 not be doing that on our next IUI cycle. But that's the only thing that's changing, is going from a lupuli to an overdrill, parentheses, HCG trigger shot. Um, we're going to keep the same gonal F injections. We're probably going to do the pen again this next round. And I think that's the only thing else that's changing. Um, so, I'm hoping this is the lucky three. This is the third IUI. And I'm hoping that the switch and the trigger shot will do, will be what gets us pregnant. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with us on our journey. If you're in the same spot, I'm sending baby dust your way and praying you get your miracle baby. Um, like I said, I won't be doing another cycle for a few weeks. So when that all does start, I'll be sure to pick up the camera and record our next cycle. Fingers crossed, it'll end in good news. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it.